Hey folks, it's Teo Sager here on the Selling with Teo. Today we have a special guest. Her name is Erica Miata. Uh, she's one of my preferred lenders here out in um, Southern California. Um, Erica, tell us who you are. How long have you been in the industry? Hi guys. Uh, thank you for having me, Teo. Of course. I'm super excited to do this with you. I've been in the industry for about three and a half years now. Perfect. As a loan officer. So Erica and I met when we had a potential prospect to purchase and she was at Movement Mortgage and now you are at what company? I'm now at the Money Store. Cool. Um, can you tell us more about the Money Store? Why did you make the shift from Movement Mortgage to the Money Store and when that happened? Yeah, well, I made the shift a little over a year ago. The Money Store is a smaller boutique private lender that I work for out here in Santa Clarita. And they're really wonderful. My team shifted over a little over a year ago and they have many loan programs and many more opportunities for me to reach more borrowers uh, of what they provide. So it was a really great move and I've been able to help many people now than what I had available to me at Movement Mortgage. And so. correct me if I'm wrong, you were at Movement Mortgage when we were experiencing a slight uptick on rates, correct? Rates were averaging at four and a quarter. Yeah. Four and eight. Depended what program you were on. Sure. Depended on your FICO score, your down payment, certain things like that. But um, we're still at, right now in today's market, we are still seeing very historical low rates of interest rates. Again, all depending on your individual file. For sure. Now, um, speaking of today's rates, what are what have you been experiencing the past two weeks with the COVID nineteen outbreak? We both know that like it's affecting all of us in different ways. For you, in particular, as a professional lending officer, what have you been experiencing uh, with you and your company in regards to these low programs and so forth? Ever since all this hit, social distancing, working from home, yeah. Um, yeah. I have a a, a good handful of borrowers that are purchase ready. Yeah, they are ready. They are still um, very active in looking um, to purchase. The interest rates are still low to where they find it, you know, as a good investment. Refinances are still up. It have a major influx. A lot of people jumped on that bandwagon, and they're saving a lot of money every single month now and it's picking back up again um, a lot of people have settled in being at home working from home social distancing and um, I'm lucky enough to where I do have a clientele where a lot of them are still on payroll so I'm fortunate enough that they still want to move forward with a refinance or a purchase Correct. So Correct. I'm blessed in that matter so to get more specific and I had this question pre-existing um, before we went into this conversation. Um, can you remind me and let people know that are watching concurrently what's happening with programs such as the FHA programs and then Jumbo Low programs? Even with Market Watch, they release an article regarding Chase requiring a minimum of 700 FICO score and a minimum of 20% down in order to participate in this market. Uh, can you tell me more of what's happening and why are lenders shifting their requirements and if or are lenders doing things differently? I mean, I don't want to speak on behalf of, you know, other lenders out there. Uh, yes, they are doing a lot of things differently. Um, I know a lot of adjustments as far as qualifications and FICO scores of what they want their borrower to meet. Um, FHA has been going through um, many changes to where the money store, our guidelines, as far as where we want our borrowers to be at a FICO score have changed. Um, the jumbo market is basically dissolved. You know, jumbo loans are just not happening right now. And um, I mean, I don't want to say that that's never going to be. I, I hope that, you know, it comes back and we can get back in that market and start getting people up to that purchase price again but um it, it's it's a lot because guidelines are changing every day yeah and yeah. we get so many emails about what's new fha updates 
VA updates, you know, the way that appraisals are being done, everything is changing. So it's great that I have my team actually to kind of fall back on to talk about these things. You always have to ask questions. You always have to keep reading your material and making sure that um, you're up to date on everything because everything's changing all the time. What would you recommend to buyers that are either are interested in participating in the market or getting a pre-approval or for those who have pre-existing files specifically with you, what would you, what would your recommendations be during this climate? Since everything is changing every day, what's our best way to, you know, move forward? I've had a lot of people call me just to discuss their situation. You know, many people are furloughed right now. Many people have, you know, their they're on an unpaid leave just through April, but they're gonna pick back up in May. You know, can they start their loan, you know, after that point once they receive a new pay stub? And then I have people that were qualified for an FHA loan. And now in the past, you know, the FICO score of what you could be qualified at on an FHA loan, you don't meet the requirement anymore because they switched up that guideline. Certain lenders have their own guidelines of what FICO scores they want their borrowers to be at. So I say, regardless of what position you're in, it doesn't hurt just to call me, call you, um, just to see where they are in the process. It may take six months. It may take a year to help them get where they, to where they need to be. Um, I've helped, you know, three of my borrowers who were, FHA ready. And now their FICO is, you know, their FICO needs to come up at least 20 points to meet that FHA guideline, at least for the money store. And um, so now I'm helping them kind of fix their credit, get some balances lowered. You know, when they have that revolving credit, pay it off or pay it down. That really helps boost up your FICO score. We don't really know how long we're going to be in this situation. And um, I think a lot of people have a little bit more time on their hands, maybe sending us their information just so we can review it, just so we can go over it to where we do set them up on a path. If they do want to be a homeowner within six months or even a year, at least they'll have that roadmap to follow um, to where they can get to that point one day. So, yeah, no, I can. <laughs> maybe there's some feedback. Um, no, I completely agree with you. And I feel like people are now sort of hesitant to sort of open a dialogue because they feel vulnerable in this situation. I feel like that vulnerability sort of makes them judge themselves. So I always stress, it's always just to ask questions and everything's confidential and everything within our circle of our camp. Um, yeah. Wow. So do, do you think- I have people just- Oh no, go for it. I was just going to say, I have people just, you know, um, I, I get the documents that I need from them. Um, you know, I pull their credit and a lot of people just want to know where their credit is. And if they were interested to buy, you know, I would run an interest rate for them to let them know where they are in the market. And um, they're grateful for that. They're like, wow, okay. Like a lot of them are like, I was actually better off than I thought I was, or my credit report isn't that, isn't that bad, you know, thank you for helping me with it and stuff like that. So it's at least, it, it's a start. It's yeah. a start. Yeah. Don't wait. It's a start. You'll be in my database forever. All your stuff is secure. And if you ever want, just pick up the phone, email me or text me and just say, Hey, I'm going to be ready in about six months. Like let's, let's get the show on the road and I will absolutely help them and be there for them with that. That's wonderful. Um, we, As you are too. <laughs> we currently are starting a file with uh, a colleague of mine. Um, we'll just call them IB. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. So and then, uh, and uh, I we I was telling her today. I was like, look, it's going to be a marathon. Just get the conversation started because when a property does hit, we want to be ready and we want to understand um, those expectations and be prepared because we don't know if there's going to be a dip or some sort of uptick. All we know is that what we can control is how much we can be prepared for and 
that's why I appreciate you because yeah. you always take care of my clients. <laughs> Aw, thank you. It's my pleasure. Um, we are people, people. We yeah. love people. So, and, um, you know, being at home and working from home now and homeschooling, really, like my kids, like making sure they're logging in every day and doing all that stuff, um, it's nice to talk to clients, to people that want your help. <laughs> the people that appreciate your help. It's, it's really, even though I can't get out there and see them and, you know, That's why we do that stuff right now. But yeah, we've got Zoom and it's, it's great. And they're, they're, I work with people who are always appreciative and thankful. So that makes up for it. Um, Erica, so I'm curious to know what's happening with your market and Santa Clarita and you rep, you working with other agents, have you opened escrows, have those purchase offers come in lower? What do you have noticed that you can preview to us that are curious and are watching right now? Um, yes, we have opened escrow, several of them. With the agents that I work with, I mean, they're very... Um, established here in Santa Clarita. So they have, you know, a market of buyers that are still out there looking. Um, a lot of the offers have been just virtual, really. They haven't gone in for um, an open house. You know, I guess that's up to the seller if they want people coming into their home. But a lot of people have um, put in offers just on a virtual tour. As far as the real estate agents out here, I see on their social media, closing lo close, closing a deal. And um, it seems very busy. I'm just curious to know, like, have you had any appraisal hiccups? Um, and, you know, so the market's moving, the market's still moving, people still writing offers, people are writing offers sight unseen. Are people, and I also want to know, how are, what's the sale price and the offer price? Is there a difference between people writing offers lower than asking or are they, are they offering what the list price is? Uh, my borrowers are writing at full price. Mm -hmm. uh, all my borrowers are underwritten. They're ready, they're ready to move fast. And so um, when there's a property out there, they, that they, you know, feel it's worth the investment, um, they are jumping on it quick. And um, the appraisal process, things have changed in the appraisal world. I've had a lot of refinances. A lot of the appraisals are coming in at what the market has them estimated at. So the homeowners are very happy with that. I personally haven't had any major appraisal issues. Um, as far as, that's my refinance market. As far as my buyer's market, from what I have heard as far as my company goes within my own little um, team office, we're all coming up right at where the market should be. So the purchase price of the home is coming in as is, which is, which is nice. It makes things very smooth for us and um, we don't have to go back and rebuttal anything. So it's good. <laughs> but the market out here in Santa Clarita, from what I see, is still very active, very active. And this last buyer that I have, I mean, there's three offers on this townhouse and, um, you know, so it's still going for sure. And rates are still very, very good. So at least for, you know, someone with a good FICO, they'll, they're still out there. The rates are still out there for you to go out and purchase a home. Yeah, so remember IB, our client IB, remember that house <laughs> that we were interested in when we first were starting the introduction? Guess how many offers that house had? 10. Oh, <laughs> oh, I was like, don't use my Instagram as a cheat sheet because I posted it. Um, oh, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> it's, was it 10? No, it's up. Oh. 15. Yes, 15 offers within 10 days of it being listed. It went and immediately it went, immediately went into escrow too. So I I was curious. I did some stat data for Canyon Country. I did a market uh I did a market um, trend video. It's a hot seller's market for sellers and condos, mainly because the price point's a little bit lower than like of West Hollywood or Hollywood Studio City. But they're it's 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 mm -hmm. still moving. And it's it reminds me of a 
a winter holiday market. You know, you still have a little bit less inventory, but you still have activity going. You still have buyers still wanting to participate and you still have people who need to move and so forth. I mean, like I said, you know, being in with everything that's going on in our world today, um, I'm very blessed with what's been going on as far as still be able to help people get a loan and purchase a property. There's still a lot of um, uncertainty as well to where we're going to be going. But for now, things are still pretty uh, up and up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you have anything else um, you want to share? Anything else in your mind that you think that we should you know, keep our pulse on or any other advice for first time home buyers out there? Or maybe personally, any any current homeowners are looking for a refis. What uh, anything else you want to share? Um, I would just say to anyone out there, you know, if they're curious, and you don't have to be completely serious right now about refinancing or purchasing. If if you do have questions, just reach out. Um, that's what we're here for. That's what we're going to help you with, and um, and that's the only way you're, you're going to you know, know with what's going on. And um, I know you and I would be happy to look at anyone's documents, their information to help them at least get set up on a path if they want to eventually go, you know, in that direction sooner or later of being a homeowner. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will definitely plug your information below in the description. So anybody have any questions, feel free to reach out to Erica if it pertains to loans or feel free to copy us. We can definitely do a Zoom chat like we're doing now with everybody um, interested or anybody else that's interested. Also, if you have any other questions that we didn't address in terms of the video in itself, feel free to drop a comment. I will tag Erica and she can reply either um, via email or in the body of the YouTube video. But other than that, thank you so much, Erica, for with this little video chat. I appreciate you. This was fun. This was fun. I enjoyed it. Hey, folks, thank you so much for watching Selling of Teo. If you enjoyed our content, feel free to press the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or additional topics you'd like to discuss, feel free to drop me a message as well. Other than that, see you next time.